the last thing we said with our little square was that if we did a rotation by 90 degrees counterclockwise, then flipped across a vertical line, we ended up with the same thing as a reflection across the off diagonal. To compress this, say it in a more succinct way, we're going to say V R90 equals D prime. At first glance, that seems backwards. If we're doing the rotation by 90 first, why do we put it second in this order? The thing to realize is that all of these different operations we're doing, all these different ways we're placing the square back down, are really functions. And if you think about it, if you had two different functions, like f of x is equal to x squared, and g of x is equal to x plus 3, and you wanted to do f then g, you would write g of f of x, or in another way, you would write it g composed with f of x. Specifically thinking about this second way, notice that even though we're doing f first, it ends on the right. It's the same exact thing here. These are functions. Since we're doing the r rotation by 90 first, that ends up on the right just like it would with a function here. Let's go ahead and take a look at just one more of these compositions of these things. What if I were to do a d prime then a rotation by 180. So once again, whatever we do first is on the right, whatever we do second is on the left. Let's rewrite that, that's hard to read. Let's take a look at it. So, first of all, we're doing a d prime. Flipping across this diagonal means that we pick it up. Those two, well, well actually, this is the starting position. So, flip. Then, we go ahead and rotate by 180. One, two, 180 puts it there. What's this done? If we look at it compared to the starting positions, red and blue are in the same starting positions. The ones that have flipped are the black and the green. So, that's the same thing as flipping across the main diagonal. Why don't you do one? Let's say what happens when you do a H D. Of course, again, that means you're going to flip across the diagonal first, then flip across the horizontal. Go ahead, pause the video, and see if you can figure that out. Hopefully you've paused it, you've seen what it turns out to be, and let's do it. So flipping across the main diagonal is going to flip it this way. Flipping across a horizontal flips it top to bottom. And we end up with, if we go back to our original thing, the reds in the bottom left, so it's one of these two. The blacks in the top left, that's this one. We end up with a rotation by 90. Now, what we're going to do, and most of it will be off camera, what we want to do is now figure out any two operations what we get. Now that means we've got eight different operations we can do, eight different positions, <coughs> times another eight, there's going to be 64 total things. The best way to organize this is going to be in a table. 
So what we'll do is we'll make a big table. And I'm just going to get started here. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. We're going to have the rotation by 0, the rotation by 90, the rotation by 180, the rotation by 270, and then we're going to have our four reflections, H, V, D, and D prime. And we're going to do that along the top as well. Rotation by 0, rotation by 90, rotation by 180, and so on. This is called a Cayley table. And we're going to do it the same way we did it here. So this, up and down, is going to be our left. This is going to be our right when we write it like this HD. So if I wanted to do a rotation by 90, rotation by 180, the rotation by 180 happens first, the rotation by 90 happens next, 90, 180, that's going to end up being a rotation by 270. I will go ahead, I'll put this whole thing together off camera, then we'll come back and we'll talk about it.